Mesdames et Messieurs, votre attention s'il vous plaît. L'Orient Express à destination de Strasbourg, Munich, Vienne, Budapest, Belgrade, Sofia et Constantinople va partir. Les passagers sont priés de monter à bord des voitures. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The Orient Express is now leaving for Strasbourg, Munich, Vienna, Budapest, Belgrade, Sofia et Constantinople. All passengers should be on board. En voiture, fermez les portières s'il vous plaît. Excuse me, can you tell me which compartment is Tyler Whitney's? Oh, Monsieur Whitney, excuse me. Your compartment is number one. Excuse me, monsieur, but this is the last sleeping car. If you are looking for the dining car, it is two cars forward. I thought I'd just take a walk to the end of the train. There is another car after this one, isn't there? Yes, but it is a private car. Je suis désolé, monsieur. Premier service, premier service, le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. Tyler.
Thanks, sir. You need to get out of town for a while anyway. Book double compartment in your own name. Don't mention mine. Maybe a little late. I'll meet you on the train. Cat. P.S. I'm still angry about Cuba. I accept. I need to get out of town for a while anyway. A passenger had been found dead and mutilated in his compartment. They arrested an American who was wanted by the police for another murder in Ireland. It was all quite ghastly, and nothing to do with us. We went on our way. Excusez-moi, monsieur. What's that on your jacket? Uh, excuse me? Mais c'est du sang! We saw a man in a blood-stained jacket being taken off the train by two policemen. Apparently, he'd killed another passenger, a Mr. Tyler Whitney. The train went on without him. to you? Uh, excuse me? You are covered with blood. 
We saw a man in a blood-stained jacket being taken off the train by two... Excusez-moi, monsieur, c'est le conducteur. Yes, sir. Excuse me, monsieur Whitney. Herr Schmidt is waiting for you in the restaurant car. Shall I bring him a message? I'll be right there. Very good, monsieur. Veux-tu cesser, s'il te plaît, ou je t'abandonne dans la prochaine gare allemande Ça te plairait <rire> D'où vient ce sifflet Je l'ai trouvé. Où, s'il te plaît Sur le sol. Pourquoi le caches-tu Montre-le-moi. Non, je l'ai trouvé, il est à moi Tu es vraiment impossible. Tu peux le garder, mais à condition de ne plus siffler avec. Mami oui, qui est-ce Entrez J'ai vu un homme tirer par la fenêtre et il roulait à côté des rails. Excuse me. Oui, qui est-ce Entrez Il a roulé et il était mort. François, s'il te plaît, va jouer avec ton jouet. Bonsoir, il est monsieur. mort, il est mort, il est mort. François, arrête de chanter, c'est désagréable.
Ah, Herr Whitney. You are different than I had imagined. Sorry to keep you waiting. I ran across an old friend. One does have the most unexpected encounters on trains. Shall we get down to business? Have you brought the gold? First you kept me waiting, now you don't answer me. I have kept my half of the bargain. If something has gone wrong, I would like to know it. Nothing has gone wrong. I'm glad. I trust that you will not mind if I asked to see the gold. I trust you won't mind either if I ask to see what I'm buying. To see it? But you know that is impossible. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. It is what we agreed. Good. Then we're even. Herr Schmidt, it's been a pleasure. We'll talk again after Munich. соблюдала все заветы нашей церкви. Да, дедушка. Monsieur, does Monsieur wish to order dinner? Yes, I will have the roast duck and uh, a bottle of 96 Bordeaux. Very good, Monsieur. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Ah, monsieur, excuse me. These compartments belong to the gentleman in number four. Monsieur, please. The ladies do not like to be disturbed. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Minen. Right away, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur Whitney. Uh, sorry. Wrong door. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Pardon me. Pardon me. Right away, monsieur. <coughs> Mean hen. Sorry, these doors all look alike. My mistake. 
Monsieur, please. Me? The gentleman in number Me, four. Nana? He will be very upset. Ah, uh, monsieur, excuse me. These compartments belong to the hey. gentleman in number four. Pardon me? Please come. You're the only one I can trust. Please come. You're the only one I can trust. Ah, Monsieur Whitney, excusez-moi. His Excellency wishes to receive you in his private car. Mm, his Excellency? Yes, Monsieur. He's waiting for you. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Deuxième service. Hello. It seems I've been sent for by someone named His Excellency. That wouldn't be you, would it? What an unexpected pleasure, Mr. Robert Cat. Usually, people call me Tyler Whitney. You should take care when choosing a name for yourself. Names have power. The most primitive cultures understood this, but of course, it will be as you prefer. Not everyone has the luxury of choosing his own name, Mr... Kronos. Whether you are Kath or Whitney is a matter of indifference to me. I am prepared to continue the discussions begun by my agent in Paris. Provided that you have the piece of which you spoke. Is Kronos your first name or your last name? I have no time to continue these delightful discussions of names. I have brought with me a rather heavy briefcase. I would like to know now if the proposed exchange interests you and if you are capable of completing it. Not just at the moment, but I have hopes of being able to do so. In that case, we have nothing further to discuss. I myself must leave the train in Vienna. In case we do not see each other again, I wish you a pleasant journey to Istanbul and continued success in evading the British and French authorities. Have a pleasant evening, Mr. Kath. Kahina will show you out. Well, monsieur. The merchandise will be put on the train at Munich. It is what we agreed. Good. We'll talk again after Munich. Bonsoir, madame, excusez-moi. C'est Martini. Aime chez Mme Henner.
Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, Kuder. Avez-vous oublié quelque chose Je ne crois pas, monsieur. La liste des passagers. Mais... Monsieur Martins ne vous l'a pas donnée Mon neveu Il m'a dit qu'il vous l'avait donné il y a une heure de ça. C'est étrange. Oh, peut-être c'est une erreur. Alors il vous l'a donc donné Oui, ce que je voulais dire, c'est que je n'avais pas compris qu'il était responsable des deux listes. Cela explique tout. Merci, Coudet. De rien, monsieur. Excusez-moi, Excusez monsieur. monsieur. It's the conductor to make your bed, madame. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Merci, madame. Excusez-moi de vous avoir dérangé. It's the conductor to make your bed, monsieur. Who is it? Sorry, these doors all look alike. My mistake. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Miss Tatiana Obalanskaya's compartment. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Count Obalanski's compartment. Yours is in the next sleeping car. Excuse me. Could you tell me what this paper says? It's a Russian fairy tale, for children. Could you translate it for me? Do you know what a fairy tale is? It's one of the ways the exploiters make the people forget that they're enslaved. For a hundred years, Russian peasants have told their children this story of a hero who plucks the tail feather from a firebird. Child goes to bed with an empty stomach and dreams of a hero who will never come. Sorry I asked. Василий Александрович. Дедушка. Василий Александрович, меня зовут Алексей Дольников. Вы, кажется, знавали моего батюшку. Да, знавал я одного Дольникова, Петра Николаевича. Хороший был человек, набожный. Сын у него был. Опозорил и отца, и всю семью свою. Пойдем, внученька. Устал я малость. Василий Александрович, how many thousands have you condemned to prison and torture in the name of your piety? 
Или вы счет потеряли? My compliments. I'm sure you do not remember me. My name is August Schmidt. But I do remember you. It was at Mrs. Lauder's in London, wasn't it? Yes. You played Brahms' violin concerto. How lovely of you to remember. And you were with an English woman. Was she your wife? Um, uh, uh, yes. Um, that is... Uh, ah! Miss Wolf! May I present my colleague from America, Mr. Tyler Whitney? Herr Whitney, Miss Anna Wolf. I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. Tyler Whitney, have we met before? I seem to remember hearing of a Mr. Whitney years ago in New York. You were trying to raise money to start a revolution in Cuba, isn't that right? Mexico, and it wasn't me. It must have been someplace else that we met. Herr Whitney is well known as a champion of freedom and justice in countries other than his own. But please, don't let us interrupt your dinner. Not at all. You're both very kind. One does get so bored on these long journeys. Good evening. A beautiful woman. Is she? And a brilliant performer. To look at her, you would never think she was Jewish. Until Munich, sir. Le train entre en gare d'Epernay. Epernay, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bon, on rentre Pourquoi Allez, viens. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Pardon. Pardon me. Est-ce que je peux aller au bout du train Excusez-moi, monsieur. Yes? Who is it? Who are you? This is my compartment. Who are you? This is Tyler Whitney's compartment. Where is Tyler? Who beats off?
I was about to say, I didn't kill him. Who are you? My name is Robert Kath. So you are Kath? Tyler spoke of you. He was afraid you were angry with him. He shouldn't have worried. That was a long time ago. You better tell me what's going on. Tyler had a meeting with someone named August Schmidt. What was that about? Where's the gold? What gold? I saw a wooden box in a hell of a mess. Then we are lost. How can I tell this to the general? Oh, I must tell to the others. What general? What were you and Tyler mixed up in? You must tell no one about this. No one. Not even the train conductor? You've been warned. Tsunaruka. The Black Hand. C'est la police, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Bonne soirée. Excusez-nous de vous avoir dérangé. Bonsoir, police. Ouvrez, Monsieur, that is Herr Schmidt's compartment.
Bonsoir, monsieur. Monsieur, please. The ladies do not like to be disturbed. Do you have a match? Aren't you a little young to smoke? Monsieur, I'm not a little girl. I have just spent the whole season in Paris. I'm very tired and I want to smoke. Thank you. Что ты произошло? Ты говорите по-русски? Немного. Only what my mother was able to teach me. How funny. An American who speaks Russian. Then you heard the horrible things that man said to my grandfather. Who is he? His name is Alexei. They grew up together. We used to play together every summer in Odessa. I can't imagine why he should want to quarrel with my grandfather. It's so childish. Well, maybe he'll grow up. Like you. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Comment ça s'est passé Aucun problème. Après que je les ai persuadés d'éviter les compartiments du harem. Imaginez-vous la scène que cela aurait fait. Deux gendarmes tués par un garde du corps musulman sur territoire français. Ce serait un incident international. Et son excellence, le prince Il n'a pas été dérangé. Son secrétaire africain s'est occupé de tout. C'est pour cela qu'ils m'ont posé tant de problèmes avec le harem. Les policiers, vous savez, ils n'ont pas l'habitude de côtoyer la haute société. Bon, au moins, c'en est fini avec tout ça. Assez de problèmes pour une soirée. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Merci. Le meilleur chien que vous ne puissiez rencontrer. Je vous assure que vous vous rendrez à peine compte qu'il y a un chien dans le train. Bon, tu dis, on verra. Y a-t-il autre chose, madame Non, merci. Bonsoir, madame. Sorry. I don't know why you want to be in trouble before you're going to do it right in your book. You could do that at home. Thank you. Excuse me, monsieur. That is monsieur Boutarel's compartment. Oh, I know. You're angry because of Josephine, aren't you? You can invite her. De Chalon sur Marne. Chalon sur Marne. Deux minutes d'arrêt. Do you know, when moi, I monsieur. saw you in London, I thought you were English. Not really. <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> My wife is English. Perhaps because of this. It's more than that. It's the way you dress, the way you carry yourself. And of course, you speak English so beautifully. I would never have believed you were German. Is that so? <laughs> but you this wife, your good English is also very good. Plus fine, plus fine étrange, dit. T'es bouché au dur de la feuille Pardon, désolé, il n'y a que des carottes. Espèce d'incapable Oh Même les choses les plus simples sont trop dures à comprendre pour ta petite tête. Oh, excuse-moi, monsieur. <rire> C'était pas assez souhait, monsieur. Good evening, monsieur. <rire> que des carottes Alors tu penses être meilleur que le ch...
Excuse me, monsieur. May I escort you back to the dining car? Oh, I could go on talking like this forever. Have a good night. Who is it? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Dolnikov. Monsieur, that is Herr Schmidt's compartment. Monsieur, that is Herr August Schmidt's compartment. Mean Hannah. Sorry, these doors all look alike. My mistake. Kath, have come across something exceptional. More your line than mine. Depart Orient Express, 7 p.m. Friday, God or less. You're the only one I can trust. Yep. Bonne nuit, monsieur. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Whitney. Have a good sleep. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Whitney. Have a good sleep. Why don't you make it sing?
saw your light, but I thought you might be having trouble sleeping. I had a bad nightmare. It woke me up. Can I come in? Why not? Gunter Maxel! Make yourself comfortable. I'm sorry the place is a mess. Do you always carry a gun on your concert tours? A woman traveling alone has to be careful. I would have thought Max was enough protection. You are not Tyler Whitney. Who are you? My name is Robert Kath. What do you want? Tyler Whitney was a friend of mine. What's that supposed to mean? Maxel, bleib hier. Sit. Let me through, I'm a doctor. Слышите, как они поют? Таня, посмотри на его руки. Они покрыты черной шерстью. Неужели ты не видишь? What are you doing? What kind of a doctor are you? Ребята, я знаю. Ты за мною пришел, убийца. Таня, подай мне нож. Я вырежу его сердце и скормлю волка. Дедушка! Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Vasily Alexandrovich! Who are you? Dad. Set it down over there. Mais pour l'amour du ciel, que signifie ces cris? Brew this in a tea and give him a cup every four hours. Can you do that? Yes. What on earth is the matter? Let's clear out. Let him sleep. Vous avez entendu le docteur? Tout le monde dort. Il faut le laisser se reposer. Miss Tatiana, could I speak with you? I don't want to frighten you, but I think someone went into my compartment while I was at dinner. <gasps> no. Would you think I was very silly if I asked you to keep it for me just until we reach Vienna? Of course not. I would be glad to. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Count Balansky's compartment. Yours is in the next sleeping car. Good night, Miss Wolf. Good night, Mr. Whitney. Excuse uh, me. Pardon me. Excuse me, monsieur. That is Miss Tatiana Obalanskaya's compartment. Good night, Monsieur Whitney. Until Bonjour, monsieur. 
Deus. Monsieur, this is not your compartment. You want the other sleeping car. Il y a de très jolies femmes dans le wagon couchette. Elles m'ont donné des bonbons. François, je te défends de leur adresser la parole. Claude, dites-lui quelque chose. Mais pourquoi Il est bon pour lui de s'initier aux mœurs et coutumes d'autres pays. Et après tout, la Gide Souleyman est une ville musulmane. Et si on l'enlève Good morning. Est-ce que c'est une bonne expérience aussi Ils m'ont invité dans leur lit et ont joué des jeux avec moi. I want to thank you for what you did. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Has he been ill for long? I don't know. I've been living in France. Grandfather came to bring me home to Russia. I knew he wasn't well, but if there is anything we can do to repay you, please tell me. Do you think you could read this? The Firebird. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at his burning tail. Where did you come from? It belonged to a friend of mine. What does it say? It's a poem for children. It's a story about Prince Ivan and the Firebird. If you like, I could write out a translation and give it to you this afternoon. Thank you, Tatiana. Excuse me. Bon, к вашему сведению, после нанесенного вами разговора с дедушкой случился приступ. По-моему, вы горды тем, что причинили мучение старику. If Vasily Alexandrovich suffers, it's because of his own guilty conscience. I only spoke the truth. How dare you! Вот мазать Татьяна. Пальцы творяются на отмену с присущей вашему классу. Вы сами выходите из того же класса. Я? Вряд ли. Во всяком случае, это несущественно. Я посвятил свою жизнь строительству бесклассового общества. Значит, дедушка был прав? Вы в самом деле либерал? Я думал, что за четыре года пребывания в Париже вы хоть чему-нибудь научились. Видать, буржуазная система образования готовит девушек лишь для замужества, и вы наверняка были надежно защищены от всего даже отдаленно напоминающего идею. Алексей, зачем вы так говорите? В детстве мы каждый день играли у реки. Неужели вы забыли? Я помню. That time no longer exists. Good day. Good morning, Herr Schmidt. I hope all that shouting didn't wake you up last night. Shouting? What shouting? Guess not. Excusez-moi, monsieur. What were you writing all morning? Just my diary. I thought it must be a novel. You were writing such a long time. When can I read it? You want to read my diary? Of course. Unless it's a secret. I will. It is. Rather. Excuse me. Uh, no one's me. ever asked me before. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just teasing you. It was just to see the look on your face. Who is it? 
Sorry, wrong door. J'ai vu un scarabée noir. Vraiment Oui, et je l'ai attrapé. Mais il est parti. Attends, attends. Ah, je t'ai eu. Où es-tu Où es-tu Yes, who is it Sorry. Bonjour, monsieur. Who is it? Bonjour, monsieur. Are you still here? Tell His Excellency I'd like to... Tell him I want to talk to him about the Firebird. The America, Your Excellency. I believe this time you'll want to speak to him. Yes. I'm in. Make yourself comfortable. Why, thank you, Kahina. I think I will. Good morning, Mr. Cap. I hope you have good news for me today. That depends. Do you still want the Firebird? Do you have it? What happened to Tyler? The misadventures of Mr. Whitney and his colleagues are of no interest to me. Let us conclude this transaction quickly. We both have many other things to do. I with my collection, and you with your travels and special interests. Your treatment of Vasily Alexandrovich, for example. Datura Stramonium. Very interesting. It's very simple. Simple to us, perhaps. But few European doctors would have thought of it. Once in Nigeria. But I digress. Do you have the Firebird? Not technically. Then I shall waste no more of your time. I shall look forward to our next meeting, Mr. Khan. He knows nothing. It is as I thought. The Austrian woman has the firebird. Forgive me, Your Excellency. I told you so last night. Why have you not searched her compartment? The compartment is guarded, Your Excellency, day and night. Ah, yes. The dog. I am not afraid, Your Excellency. But if I enter the compartment, that dog will attack me. If Your Excellency wishes, of course. I understand, Kay. Several hours remain before Vienna. I will arrange a convenient absence for Miss Wolf. And this animal whose presence seems to make you so uneasy. Then Kahina, you... And is that... Uh, pardon me. Monsieur, please. The gentleman in number four. He will be very upset. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, Bonjour. monsieur. Miloš. Pardon me. 
Come in. Milos, we need to talk. Pazi, možda je naoružan. Auger Schmidt thinks I'm Tyler. I went along with it to keep the game going. Now I want to know what the game is. Nemoj ništa da mu govoriš. On je breženo, Tylerov prijatelj. Tebi je svako prijatelj. Come on, sit down. Have you heard of unity or death? Sure. That's Harvard's motto. Where is it the post office? Unity or death is a sacred vow. Crna ruka. We have all taken it. Tyler too. He always liked that sort of thing. He gave his life for this. Tyler came to us in the winter. We were hiding in the mountains of Bjelašnica, north of Sarajevo. Šta se njega tiče gde je Bjelašnica? Pa hoćeš ti mene žeska glava da pustiš da govorim? When Tyler came we had no food, no guns, nothing. Tyler brought us guns. What did Tyler want from August Schmidt? Tyler was given a mission by the general himself. It was a great treasure that belonged to the Serbian people. What was it? It was called the Firebird. I never saw it. Tyler was to sell it for gold to buy the guns from the German. If the German finds out that we have lost the gold, everything is lost. You must tell him that we have the gold and that we want to buy the guns. Why should I help you cheat August Schmidt? Cheat him? How can you speak of cheating a German? The Germans are taking our land. The food from our children. We are like slaves in our own land. Tyler understood this. If you betray us, you betray the cause he died for. It's your cause, not mine. Da ga ubijem odmah. Zabranjujem ti, on je bio Tylerov prijatelj. Ti ćeš ga pustiti da izađe odavde? Ti si veća budala nego što sam mislila. Oh, by the way. Herr Schmidt mentioned that he was having some merchandise put on the train at Munich. So long. Madame. Izvinite. Pardon me. Yes? Who is it? Sorry, Milo Schwangor. Je m'excuse. Où es-tu? Yes? Who is it? Oh, Miss Wolf. Sorry to bother you. My mistake. Where to? Uh, pardon me. Uh, pardon me. Hey, reviens. Je ne te ferai pas de mal. It is not your compartment, monsieur. Herr Whitney, soon we will arrive in München. Are you ready to proceed with our agreement? The answer is yes, Herr Schmidt. Our deal is on. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The Orient Express is now leaving for Vienna, Budapest. Bitte sehr vorsichtig sein mit diesem großen Koffer. Wir darf um Gottes Willen nicht hinfallen. Meine Damen und Herren, der Orient Express fährt jetzt in Richtung Wien, Budapest, Belgrad und Konstantinopel ab. Bitte alle einsteigen. Ja, die Schlussverkehr ist jetzt drastisch. Девушка играете в шахматы как мужчина. Ваш фон. Замечательно. Трюк, достойный вашего деда. Ну почему вы все время вспоминаете дедушку? Ведь вы же со мной играете, а не с ним. Он вас хорошо играть научил. I've had other teachers since then, Alexei Sergeyevich. I'm not a little girl anymore. No, you're not.
Ah, Herr Whitney, the merchandise has been loaded onto the train. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. I want to see the gold. Our agreement included delivery of the arms in Belgrade. We're not in Belgrade yet. Herr Whitney, since I boarded this train, I have begun to feel that things are not as they should be. If you cannot reassure me, I intend to get off in Vienna and take my merchandise with me. Guten Tag! Yes? Who is it? Sorry, Milo, wrong door. It is not your compartment, monsieur. Is he actually treating the count, then? Herr Schmidt, are you having lunch alone? As a matter of fact, I'm waiting for a lady. Have a nice wait. Oh, well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Still, it does seem a little irregular. Yeah, not that we English see anything wrong with a cup of tea. It can do wonders for an upset stomach. Still, one rather expects to see the usual paraphernalia. A doctor's bag, instills confidence and so on. Uh, given the importance of the patient, I mean. I suppose Mr. Whitney is travelling with quite a bit of luggage. Monsieur? Oh, you know, so many Americans do. I cannot say, monsieur. It must be the fellow I passed just now in a smoking car. Rather young, isn't he, for ah, a doctor? Ah, Wolf. Please, let me help you. Oh, thank you. I must say, he didn't look at all like the usual sort of American one expects to Everybody see wanted to sit You know, flashing money about. Like it's quite the opposite, in fact. Rather unusual really? for a young fellow like that to book a here. couple and compartment <laughs> prices being what they are, all that. Wouldn't you say? I do not know, monsieur. Well, what shall we order? I suppose he wants his privacy. Shall we get some wine? Monsieur, that would I really lovely. must return. I no, of course, of course. Wine, yes? yeah, don't let me keep you. Oh, oh, Thank me. you, monsieur. Au revoir. Like Premier some service. Some My father Premier drank service. red wine, and I'm afraid I've just got to have it. I know Lunch it's not very served. ladylike. Nonsense. <laughs> we will be able to share a bottle. I hope I will not get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm turning into a happy little devil, especially <laughs> when I am surrounded by a beautiful lady. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Le déjeuner est servi. Lunch is served. Oh, excuse Bonjour, me. monsieur. We seem to be sharing. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Ah, monsieur, excuse me. This compartment belongs to the hey. gentleman in number four. Monsieur, that is Herr Schmidt's compartment. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Martin. Bonjour, monsieur.
train rentre en gare de Salzbourg. Salzbourg, 10 minutes d'arrêt. Le train rentre en gare de Salzbourg. Salzbourg, 10 minutes d'arrêt. امشي من هنا سمعتني امشي من هنا pas non plus c'est un paradis pour ceux qui savent l'apprécier demande donc aux dames des derniers compartiments attention tu ne veux pas risquer la récompense que tu espères recevoir à la fin du voyage récompense la seule récompense qu'il risque de me donner c'est de faire de moi son collègue avec son sabre allez à bientôt <rire> allez à plus tard I was hot, but I It's not only commerce, and that in my own small way, I'm doing my part. Y aura-t-il des jardins à Abadan? Le désert n'est pas. Monsieur, can I help you? Yes, I wanted to get something out of my suitcase. The baggage car is off limits to passengers. Suitcases cannot be opened during the journey. Not even by you? The baggage compartment is sealed, monsieur. In this way, passengers on the Orient Express are spared the inconvenience of customs checks. Now, I really must invite you to return to the passenger car. des apprentis que j'ai jamais vu. C'est incroyable qu'on te laisse travailler à bord de l'Orient Express. Oh, je je m'excuse, je m'excuse. Je trouverai un meilleur ouvrier que toi dans n'importe quelle brasserie à Paris. This is not your compartment. You want the other sleeping car. Monsieur, that is not your compartment. <coughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Lunch. Servi. Lunch et serre. Deuxième service. Deuxième service. Le déjeuner est Bonjour, servi. Monsieur. Lunch et serre. 
Bonjour, monsieur. Monsieur, please. The ladies do not like to hey. be disturbed. It's a family Anna. Pardon me. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Замечательные слова. Ваш ход. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Fräulein Wolf, it is a privilege to meet so talented an artist. My name is Kronos. Your Excellency, you do me a great honor. My car is equipped with a piano. I wonder if you would do me the favor of joining me in a duet. It will help pass the time on this rather long journey. What a splendid idea! Shall we say three o'clock? I shall count the minutes until then. Good day. Is it very tiresome, your business in Vienna? Oh, well, you know, you always hope that a man will keep his word when he does not. One hates to lose a good bit of business, but uh, man can nicht anders. Also, dann kommt ihr Geschäft nicht zustande? Ist es abgesagt? Je m'excuse. Excusez-moi. Uh, pardon me. J'ai vu un scarabée excuse noir. Me. Vraiment? Oui. Excuse me. Et je l'ai attrapé. Mais il est parti. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Добиться освободить замен тирании. Как только частная собственность будет упразднена, все люди станут равными и свободными. Новое мирное общество образуется само по себе. Вы так и не сделали ваш ход. There's absolutely no one here. But of course. Ah, mademoiselle, il est si agréable de vous voir. Nous avons réservé votre table. Thank you. Vous savez, votre présence commençait à me manquer. Sans vous, mademoiselle, l'Orient Express serait juste un train tout ordinaire. Ah, merci, merci Pascal. Pascal. Il va falloir t'habituer à déjeuner plus tard, ma chère Rebecca. Sur l'île, on ne déjeune jamais avant 3 heures de l'après-midi. Pendant la journée, il fait trop chaud. Entre midi et 3, on ne peut faire que la sieste. Il y a une fantastique petite coiffeuse au village qui pourrait te laver et te coiffer les cheveux. Tu serais tellement adorable avec une coupe un peu moins stricte, avec des boucles par exemple. Pas de boucles. Mais ma chérie, le but de ce voyage était de te créer une nouvelle image, non Le vent de la mer fera de toi quelqu'un d'autre. Écoute, alors que s'éteint la torture du jour et que le ciel s'embrase de reflets dorés...
Excuse me, monsieur. May I escort you back to the dining car? Angleterre, le temps de changer de style. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Would you open my compartment, please? But of course, mademoiselle. Yes? Who is it? Oh, Miss Wolf, sorry about you, monsieur. my mistake. Oui, madame. Cette fois-ci, ça suffit. Il faut faire quelque chose avec ce chien. Je suis désolé, madame. Madame a été dérangée. Les odeurs, les aboiements, c'en est trop. Un chien de petite taille, peut-être. Un caniche serait supportable. Mais un monstre pareil. Et avec un petit garçon dans le compartiment voisin. Je suis terriblement désolé, madame. J'assisterai auprès de Madame Wolf pour qu'elle surveille son chien. Mais non, voyons. Vous savez bien que c'est impossible. Ce chien devait être en cage, dans la soute à bagages, tout simplement. Je dois dire que je suis très surprise qu'une compagnie aussi respectable satisfasse avec tant d'indulgence les caprices de créatures excentriques, d'artistes, au point d'ignorer ses clients les plus respectables. Je pensais avoir acheté un billet pour un train de grand luxe, pas un ticket pour le cirque. Je comprends, madame. Votre opinion est entièrement justifiée. Je vais en parler au chef de train immédiatement. Je souhaite que vous fassiez plus que lui parler. Je souhaite vivement que cet animal soit expulsé des voitures lits. M'avez-vous comprise Oh oui, madame. Madame Bouterell Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi, ah, monsieur. Ah, Whitney. Prince Kronos wishes to invite you to a concert in his private car. Madame Wolf will play the violin. And he wants me to be there. Oh, yes, monsieur. Three o'clock. His Excellency was most eager that you should attend. Who is it? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Dolnikov. Bonjour, monsieur. Non, monsieur, j'adore les animaux. Alors c'est très bien, faites pour le mieux. Et surtout, présentez nos excuses à Madame Wolf. Souvenez-vous qu'elle est l'une de nos meilleures clientes. Elle a voyagé dans ce train plus souvent que vous. Je le sais, monsieur. Yes? Who is it? Sorry, I can't keep these doors straight. Excusez-moi, madame. Je suis vraiment désolé. But we have received the complaint about the barking. Pardon oh, me, sir. Of course, for you, we have always made an Excusez exception. Excusez-moi. But now that the passenger has Excusez complained... Excusez-moi. Must he go to the baggage Je m'excuse. The passenger has insisted, Pardonnez-moi, monsieur. What can I do? Just a moment. Oh, mein Kleiner, sei nicht traurig. Es wird dir schon gut gehen im Gepäckwagen. Komm her, mein Schatz. Oh, na komm. Forgive me, madame. You make sure he has plenty of water. He really doesn't like the baggage car. Of course, madame. You are kind. I'm very, very sorry.
Good dog, good doggy. Excuse me. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Monsieur, can I help you? Excuse me. Pardon me. Bonjour, monsieur. Who is it? Sorry, I can't keep these doors straight. Le train entre en gare de Fetz. Fetz, 15 minutes d'arrêt. Bonjour, monsieur. Apparently, the reason she and her husband are... Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Tu reviens? Yes, I will be a minute. Bon, d'accord. Je t'attends. Excuse me, got a light? Je ne parle pas l'anglais, monsieur. Mr. Dolnikov. Bonjour, monsieur. Right 
There you are, monsieur. Thank you. Herr Schmidt, can we talk? Unless you can show me the gold, there is nothing to talk about. Good day. Entschuldigung. Bonjour, Monsieur. Excuse uh, me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you lock my compartment, please? Of course, mademoiselle. Excuse Thank me. You. Easy for you to say that now. Now that I have nothing to go back to. That's not my fault. You weren't talking like that in London. Londres, c'est Londres. Mademoiselle Wolf is at the concert. Something one day and another. But I want to tell a few of my daughters. She's fucking fine. No one's feeling so. Monsieur, that is not your compartment. You can't treat people as if they were your toys. There are consequences, you know. I've given up a lot to come on this trip. I don't care about the things you give up. For me, that's nothing. What you give to me, what you make me feel, that's what I care about. You won't give me a chance. Ah, oh, toi, tu parles toujours de sacrifices, de conséquences, d'obligations. Je m'en fiche, moi. Si j'avais voulu tout ça, j'aurais épousé Philippe. Au moins, ça aurait eu des avantages. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Vous vous sentez bien Ce chien devait être en cage dans la soute à bagages, tout simplement. What were you writing all morning? Just my diary. Who is it? Sorry, my mistake. Bonjour, monsieur. Monsieur Whitney, this way, please. Well, you know, in such a moment, there is no time to waste. I'm sorry, my friend, for this is not feeling very well. It's surrounded by four. I must marry it.
monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, pardon me. Mademoiselle Wolf is at the concert, monsieur. Monsieur, can I help you? Excuse me, Monsieur Whitney. Mademoiselle Wolf is at the concert, Monsieur. Yes? Who is it? Sorry, my mistake. It is not your compartment, monsieur. Alors, tu es venu pour continuer notre discussion d'hier soir J'ai réfléchi. Je trouve l'idée de monsieur Jaurès contradictoire. Ah oui Vas-y, explique-toi. Bon. Tu dis que si c'est la guerre, c'est pas l'Allemagne contre la France, c'est les ouvriers contre les ouvriers. Bien entendu. Et s'ils appellent à la mobilisation, au lieu d'y aller, on fait la grève générale. S'ils mobilisent, oui. Et comme ça, il n'y aura pas yes. de guerre. Yes Évidemment Sans les ouvriers, il n'y aurait pas de guerre. Il n'y aurait pas de chemin de fer, il n'y aurait voilà pas de Voilà le usine. problème Si nous, les Français, on fait la grève et les Allemands la font pas, que se passera-t-il Attends un moment euh, N'est rien, c'est là le problème. Ils seront à Paris dans trois jours. Nous serons... Je simplifie toujours les choses. Évidemment, Dear friend. Last night, my seductress allowed me to sit by the side of her bed for a long while and brush her hair. How happy I was. Her embrace pulls me into a dream, far away from my old, upholstered world. At last, on vrai team, in this fragile, rattling old box racing into the future. I'll just stretch my legs for a bit. Excuse me. Bonjour, madame. Mademoiselle Wolf is at the concert, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, monsieur Whitman, they have already started with the... 